Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to talk about converting ratios into fractions. Now, here we can see a ratio, typically 6 to 1, we would say. And here we can see a fraction, 1 seventh. Now, you might wonder, why 1 seventh? Why not 1 sixth? That is one of the big differences between ratios and fractions. Very often with ratios, we're talking about the different amounts of the different parts. Whereas, when we talk about fractions, we're talking about how much one represents of the whole. So, for example, if we're talking about six oranges and one apple, we're talking about a ratio of six oranges to one apple. There might be 12 oranges and two apples, but it's six to one, the ratio. But when we're talking about a fraction, we're more likely to talk about the number of apples compared with the total number. And that's why the fraction looks different from the ratio. So although I could still have a ratio 1 to 6 or 1 sixth, where this was the ratio of apples to oranges. But this is less common with fractions. So when I'm converting ratios, what I have to first of all decide is what fraction I want to represent. Do I want it as a fraction of the whole, or do I want it one as a fraction of the other? And with fractions, I would tend to go over the total number. So this is why here, when I say oranges and apples, 6 plus 1 is 7. So that 6 plus 1 is giving my 7. And the 1 is the fraction of oranges. Sorry, apples. If I want the fraction of oranges, of course, it will be different. It will be 6 out of 7. And this makes more sense if I do it this way. So when dealing with ratios, you're normally talking about the ratio of one part to another part. When you're talking about fractions, you're talking about one part to the whole. So be careful, make sure you know which you're trying to explain, and use the right form.